Hey everyone, Paul Gill Network here, and I am excited today to do an unboxing of the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem toys. I got them in the mail the other day, and they look awesome. We have Michelangelo here, the entertainer, Leonardo, the leader, Donatello, the brains, and Raphael, the angry one. I think these look really cool. These I got from Target, and there are a few different ways that you could purchase them, but I went with the individual turtles, and I'll explain why in just a bit. The individual turtles, these cost 10 bucks each, come with a little turtle of them pre-ooze, and just the turtle themselves. And when I looked at the triple pack that Target had to offer, these were also purchased from Target, uh, the triple pack was pretty cool because they were glow-in-the-dark characters and it also came with a turtle tot which is like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in their kid form if you will like baby kid form and you know teenage form and it was pretty cool it was also a good deal coming in at just $15 and it also glue in the dark um, all three turtles per set and so for $15 having them glow in the dark one extra character that you know this set doesn't come with and only five dollars more not a bad deal but i noticed that the quality of the paint and the points of articulation looked a little bit less detailed and so i thought i'm going to get those separately yes i'll miss out technically on the glowing aspect but i think that's okay for me i would rather have probably if i had to think about it just the four turtles looking as good as they could in this miniature five inch or so form with weapons very much similar to how they were packaged back in the 80s when I was a kid collecting these and I think they look just awesome. The film comes out on August 2nd. Uh, my family and I are actually going to see it this Saturday, July 29th. I'm a really big TMNT fan. I am stoked. On the back of the box you can see there are decent amount of other toys. There's a uh, Master Splinter, Rocksteady, Bebop, Superfly, and Leatherhead. There's also a description on the back, which is pretty cool. Like this one, let's say, Michelangelo. Mikey's the comedian. Too bad his brothers don't think he's that funny. He might not be the best at ninjutsu or waking up on time or even hygiene, but you can always count on Mikey's positive attitudes. attitude. Weapon, Nanchaku. Dream to be a stand-up comedian. Oh yeah, these toys and the designs themselves actually look quite a bit like the originals, yet with a modern take. I think it's important to pay tribute to what made us all fall in love with Turtles and probably the height of their popularity was in the 80s during that original cartoon series. But they've had some several successful other runs like in the early 2000s the 2012s and then even Rise, the more recent one, which was quite polarizing with, you know, a different shift, Raphael being the leader, Leonardo kind of being like a second party dude, but that culminated in a movie and that was really solid. And then we've also had different movies over the years. Team NT is just one of those properties, kind of like Super Mario Brothers, really, that it's just been around for over three decades and has really stood the test of time. But uh, to appeal to the majority of the fans, I would say have a design that looks like these original four guys on my shirt, but spruce it up, right? You could pay tribute to the past while also making something uniquely its own and find that right balance. So I have high hopes for the movie. Even the bad guys, like they all look really cool, different enough, but also, you know, comparable to some of their most iconic forms. Let's read some more, shall we? Leonardo. Leo's the leader. Well, he wants to be. He dreams of leading his brothers to become an unstoppable crime-fighting team. So what if no one takes him seriously? Weapons? Twin Katana. Dream to be a fearless leader. Donatello? Donnie is devastatingly smart and not afraid to let you know it. His intellectual self-assuredness may come across as arrogance, but it's just that his brain is thinking so many steps ahead and that he's paralyzed with indecision. Weapons, bow staff. Dream to be a game developer by day, K-pop star by night. I like that the turtles all have 
clearly unique personalities on the back of their boxes. Um, looking forward to seeing them shine in the film. It looks like it's already been greenlit a second movie and a TV series to follow kind of in between. I think that's terrific. Um, this looks like it'll be, like I said, a, a really good take on Turtles that's probably suitable for kids, teens, and adults like, like me and those that are older and younger alike. Um, if you want a little bit more mature take on the Ninja Turtles IP, I recommend checking out IDW's comic book run. It's been going on for quite several years now. It's got to be nine or so years, maybe a full decade. And it's really good quality, really good quality material. And that's definitely a more mature, uh, darker take. Awesome mythos behind that. And I'm a big fan as well. All right, last one before we open them up. Raphael. Raph likes to break things. In fact, his biggest goal is to punch someone so hard they throw up. But beneath his hard head and tough exterior is a sensitive turtle just looking for someone to talk to. Weapons, twin sigh. Dream to be a mixed martial arts fighter. So there you go. I think this is a pretty cool. I'm going to open them up, but I'm going to open them up in a careful manner. So that I'm going to do on my own so I don't waste too much time. But then I will cut to it in a moment and show you what they all look like. Okay, so stay tuned for just a minute. All right, so here are the four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem figurines out of the box, sitting on top of a couple of TMNT crossover Pizza Hut boxes. I'll show you the turtles up close. Leonardo here looking really cool. Michelangelo, my overall favorite Ninja Turtle, looking awesome. Donatello, really neat in which his glasses also come off, nice touch. And Raphael, pretty sweet, with a different bandana too. I like how each of them have a different shade of green. Shows that they're brothers, but much like their personalities are all different. I'm stoked for the movie. I'm definitely going to pick up the turtle taunts and bad guys, and I want to know, what did you think of this unboxing video? Has it convinced you to pick up any of the figurines yourself? Are you a Ninja Turtle fan at all? Will you be watching the movie? Are you looking forward to the film and the cartoon series to follow? What do you think of Ninja Turtles? It's one of my favorite franchises, one of my favorite IPs growing up as a kid. Really stood the test of time, just a big fan. And yeah, look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching. This is Paul Gale signing out. Turtle Power and Cowabunga for Life.